like this would grow. Yeah, the roots form from down here. And the collar grows up. The collar grows up. The opposite of a carrot. I think how carrot grows, carrot grows down. So I'm I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw a little bit of sugar in here. We found out if we if we just do straight core in the bottom, it all just falls out the bottom. So we'll put this all the way down in the bottom of the pot, like that, right down in the bottom, and then we'll fill it with a, a potting mix, a core, or I've done this with dirt, I've done it with a half core, half cinder mix, I've done it with all cinders. Um, what else have we tried? We tried big three-quarter inch base. Did you tell them about that? Mm -hmm. The gravel? Yeah, the one that didn't work didn't is work crushed blue rock. It did not like being planted in crushed blue rock no. for some reason. <laughs> Pack it down really well. In the aquaponics system, we found that if it's kind of floating and loose, it's it's like a kid in a car with no seat belt. Or maybe that's not a good metaphor, but it doesn't. It likes to be packed in solidly. But kids don't like to be in the seat belt. <laughs> yeah, okay, there you go. Safety. It's the opposite it's of that. It's a safety issue. We have so. some things that are non-negotiable, and I say it's a safety issue. My kids don't argue anymore. So we'll pack that in like that. And then we simply put it in the system. Now, what we're going to see here as this grows. Now, remember, somebody throw me a two-inch net pot, please. There you go. Come in. All right. Air, air okay. freight. Thanks. Oh, you got so this, remember, this plant we just harvested grew in a two-inch net pot. It grew in this. We're putting it in this. This is three cents. This is ten dollars. Like I said, we're still experimenting with how to grow it. How to grow it, a big part of it is how to grow it economically. We've got to figure out how to do this economically. I'm so glad we've got Taro Farmers yeah. attending this training. I'm so glad. It's our first training to have Taro Farmers. We're very yeah. honored. This is, cake this grow is more vigorously than that. that <laughs> What we found here is, you know, the acalo grows more underground. It shoots out just as many oha. Um, it grows just as well. Uh, it, we had farmers telling us that we had, we had this taro planted in the three-inch pots. That's not going to grow. It's going to hit the surface, feel the air, and it's going to stop dead like that. And you saw where this, you saw where this acalo was. Air. It was on top of the raft. Now that's another thing. When you when you harvest a taro and you're going to cook it. That's planted now. There, we just planted. We just replanted. So harvesting out in the lo'i generally involves what's called in here to Hawaii an o'o bar. A long bar goes down and you use leverage, right? You got to get the roots to break off. You get the roots to break off from the the, ma the mass of roots all spread out in the ground. So you break off your collar. Lots of times you do some damage to the collar with your oat bar because you got so much pressure. You're tired. You're up to your knees and muddy water, your balance isn't so great. I've seen a lot of people fall down. <laughs> you step you know? on sharp edge, broken snails. Right, broken <laughs> snail shells. And what you do is it's back breaking labor. Everybody agrees. Harvesting taro in the ground is some of the hardest work you can do at all of this land. So you got your oil bar, you're out there, you're yinging away on it. You finally get up your, your collo, your corm. You got a dirty collo, now you got a scrub when you go into your, your commercial kitchen where you're making your poi. So you like this. You're filling up 30 pound buckets and then you walk to the mud. Yeah, that's the hard part. Or, or you know what, taro boat. You don't, you, you're gonna get you a taro boat. Yeah, you got it. It's a lot of work. Yeah, it's a lot of work. Everyone agrees, it's a lot of work. This you can do, again, 80% of your work sitting down in the shade. And you end up with a clean product that grows in half the time, that tastes wonderful. We'll cook some of this up for lunch and you guys can all taste that.